Okay, so remember we are reviewing personal pronouns. They are called personal pronouns or subject pronouns. First of all, we use pronouns to substitute a noun. So when you know who or what you're talking about, you don't need to repeat that noun all the time. So for instance, if I'm talking about a student like Mary, I have a student, her name is Mary. Uh, Mary is a very good student. Instead of repeating the noun Mary all the time, I can use she, okay? That's uh, very important for us to understand why we use pronouns. Well, in English, we have pronouns like I, you, he, and she. Well, in Spanish, we have pronouns too. Some will be a little bit different from English. So let's go over the pronouns that we already know. Everybody, let's repeat. Yo, tu, el, ella, usted. Okay, so, so far we've seen the singular pronouns. We know that for you in Spanish, we have two you. You, tu, which is informal. You're going to use tu when you're talking to somebody that you know, somebody of the same age, okay? Um, it, we can also call it the familiar you, okay? But we also have the usted, which is also you, but you're going to use it in a formal way. You're going to use it with somebody that you don't know or somebody much older than you. Somebody that you need to show respect, okay? So, él, he, ella, she, usted, you formal, okay? So, last class we saw the plural pronouns. And we saw that for we, we have two forms in Spanish. We can say nosotros when we have a group of boys only. When they're saying we, but it's just a group of boys, we say nosotros. Also, when we have a mix of gender, whenever you have boys and girls together, female and male together, you're going to use nosotros. And we have nosotras, which means we, when we have a group of girls only saying we, so we use nosotras, okay? Um, this pronoun here, you all, or you in the plural, you don't have a specific pronoun in English to convey the meaning of you all. What you, say, what you do in English, you say you all or you guys. Well, in Spanish, we do have a specific pronoun that when you want to say you all or you too, you can use this pronoun, which is? Ustedes. Ustedes. Muy bien. And finally, we have ellos or ellas. They both mean they. And the difference is that ellos, you're going to use when, only when you're talking about a group of boys or a mix of gender, boys and girls together, okay? Or, and you're going to use ellas when you're talking about a group of female, okay? Do you understand all this? Yes. So let's repeat, please, everybody. Yo, tu, el, ella, usted. Nosotros, nosotras, ustedes, ellos, ellas. Okay, any questions so far? No? Okay, so let's move on. Uh, we also learned in the previous lesson about the verb ser. The verb ser means what? To be. To be. Okay. The verb ser in, in English, to be, is irregular as well. Because if you compare the verb to be with a different verb like to like, the verb to like, when you conjugate, you go, I like, you like, he likes, blah, blah, blah. But with the verb to be, can I say I be, you be, he bees? No, you change completely. So how do we conjugate the verb to be in English? I am. You are, are he is, is she is, it is, we are, they are. Okay. And by the way, I did not mention before, but have you noticed?
because we do not have the pronoun it in Spanish. And the reason is because everything in Spanish has a gender, even objects. For example, if I'm talking about like the chair, the chair is feminine, you say la silla, okay? If I'm talking about the pen, the pen is masculine, you say el bolígrafo. Things, everything in Spanish will be feminine and masculine. That's why we don't have it. Mm -hmm. So we're supposed to like memorize everything? Exactly. That's why when we give you um, the, the vocab list, we always, always put el libro, el lapis, el país. So you start memorizing when it's masculine and when it's feminine. Because there is no reason why they are masculine or feminine. It's arbitrary. Okay? So let's go back here. So here you have the conjugation of the verb to be. And here we have the conjugation of the verb to be in Spanish, which is ser, okay? Ser would be the infinitive of the verb. The last chapter we saw the singular form of the verb ser. So let's just review, everybody. Yo soy, which is I am, tu eres, which is usted, es, you are, what kind of you are is this one? Very good. El, es, he is, ella, es, she is. So if you have noticed, and that will happen for every verb we conjugate, these three forms here, these three pronouns, they will have the same form always for any verb we learn. Okay? Now, today we are going to see the plural form. How are we going to say we are or you guys are or they are. Okay. Remember, vosotros is only used where? <laughs> so you're not going to learn vosotros. Let's cross this one out. So here we go. How do we say we are? Nosotros somos or nosotras somos. If we are just a group of girls, we say nosotras somos. Okay? Then how do you say you guys are? Ustedes son. And how do you say they are? Ellos son or ellas son, if you're talking just about a group of females, okay? Preguntas, no? Yo soy, tu eres, el, ella es, nosotros somos, ellos son, yo soy, tu eres, el, ella es, nosotros somos, ellos son, yo soy, tu eres, el, ella es, nosotros somos, ellos son, yo soy, tu eres, el, ella es, nosotros somos, ellos son.